What is going on? I am Anoki the One, and I'm back with another video about the top secret way to attract powerful people when you're networking. So, um, I went to the A3C Fest, and this doesn't have to just be networking um, at like conferences or anything like that. It's just attracting positive and powerful people. This is it has to do with the law of attraction and things like that, but it's just principle based okay so i when i was at a3c fest um i saw a lot of thirsty artists there are a lot of thirsty artists out there like y'all know them i i i'm trying to recall i don't remember ever really being a thirsty artist because i i come from entrepreneurship and i i've never really been a fan of people and stuff like that like I just never was that type of person. I used to be very shy where I would literally not try to talk to anybody at all. Um, but I, I, there's a lot of thirsty artists. Like, you ain't gotta be thirsty. Like, that's, 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 uh, that's unattractive. Very unattractive. That is a quick way to let somebody ignore you. Like, completely and totally ignore you. So, um, as far as, like, attracting powerful people, the top secret way to attract powerful people listen here listen real close become a powerful person okay now y'all probably like okay wow become a powerful person how do you do that but when i tell you literally the people will come and i think it has to do with aligning with your core values like if you have core you need to have some core values okay and building your worth so building your worth can easily be done especially in this time and age this day and age read a book read read some good books that are about mindset success um get online courses like learn new skills learn new things new concepts and things like that and it really invests in yourself like that's what it boils down to like a lot of people want people to invest in them before they invest in themselves it doesn't even make sense but that's just how a lot of people do like you want to like instead of you investing on all your time and energy in yourself like buying equipment buying the things that you need creating the content that you want to put out um and just working on yourself internally and your mindset and your spirituality and all this other stuff like this eternal being um you want to run around on the outside let let me go to la let me go to new york let me go here let me go there let me find this person let me oh they're gonna be here this day let me go find this person and what those people are looking for they're not looking for just anybody they want to work with people of value of worth because they're a person of value of worth so what do you have to what do you have to bring to the table if you have not invested in yourself so the first thing that i would say to do is to invest in yourself i'm all about that like you are the one i am the one anoki the one and you are the one of your matrix so invest in yourself like that's one of the first things that happened with neo when he took the red pill is that they he went through these programs and he was injected knowledge of different martial arts so he could fight right fight the agent okay because this life is going to be your own game and you're in this game by yourself and you have other people you have your crew you have your morpheus you have you know your trinity and things like that but at the end of the day it's about you so that's what you got to do you got to realize that um and not in a selfish way when you're working with other people so focus selfishly on yourself as far as like bring your worth up your worth ty lopez talks about worth a damn factor and it's interesting because um i end up uh working with him directly and and that's why i speak from experience where it's like i knew because i was a person of value when i got um i uh went through the application process like if i pass this stuff if i get into a um if i uh if they interview me if i get to that space like i'm hired like it's not it's not a thing and it has nothing to do with like just being cocky it has to do with knowing your worth you you have a worth especially as far as entrepreneurship like uh-huh 
with the work that I put in, I'm getting this job. I'm getting this position, whatever. And then, oh, when I get it, I'm gonna kill it. First female salesperson on his sales staff ever. Killed it. Like, it was crazy. And so to the point where in the first month, I um, got promoted, and I think that was the fastest that anybody, male or female, had ever been promoted into high ticket sales. And I was the first woman. And he was messaging me. He, I never messaged him for He came messaging me directly. And so when you are a person of value, when you have the worth of damn factor, and you've invested so much into yourself without anybody having to tell you or force you to do it because of some job or something, but because you are hungry and you're curious and you want to know and you want to become better, then that attracts better people. Same thing with um, the owner of BeatStars. Like I was at A3C Fest and I just kept running into him. I didn't even know who he was at first. And um, I think it has to do with just law of attraction and just being aligned. I wasn't looking for him specifically, but I was just aligned. And he was on the same wavelength as me as far as wanting to help artists and different stuff like that and being an artist. Um, and we just kept running it into each other. And he was like, let me give you my phone number because you have some, some about your energy or whatever, but I don't know what it is. We keep running to each other. So let me just give you my phone number. Right. So that's a far more powerful way to network than to pay, you know, $3,000 or some crazy amount of dollars to be in the VIP and to get your stuff signed. Like, Oh my gosh, I love everything you do. And da -da 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 -da. take my number, please. Here's my CD. Da -da 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 -da. Like, you paid the money, I mean, they're gonna listen to you. They're gonna sign your stuff. But if you're resonating, even if you are in VIP, if you're resonating and you're like, oh yeah, I think I, I, I love everything you're doing, you know, can you sign my stuff? You don't even have to say much. It's not even about what you say or what you do. It's who you are. They'd be like, who's this person? What do you do? Like, that's where I get people asking me what I do. Powerful people. Like, who are you? What the heck? Where do you come from? What planet? Because most people don't even read. All you have to do is read books in your industry and be so much further ahead of everybody else and even unrelated things that benefit the things that you're doing and it will bring your worth of damn factor far up. Just having certain experiences, doing certain things, right? Doing it yourself. It brings your value up. So like, yeah. So when you come into these rooms, you vibrate higher. You have this energy. People can feel it. You walk into the room, you have a presence. And so I feel like that's what step one needs to be is to develop that presence to where you attract people. You don't have to chase. And that happened to me in L.A. as well. Like the first time I went to L.A., I was walking down the street with my camera and I saw a few famous people. Um but uh they had this group and they're following me to this day uh, my, minus gravity they're amazing i didn't even know who they are, were at first but their manager stopped me because i had a camera but i think it also had to do with like i was swagged out for one i was like hold up i'm in la let me swag out and um i was just vibrating because i didn't even see them at first i was focused i was just you know vlogging doing my little thing you know what i'm saying and they stopped me so like, if you have that energy, whatever small town you're at, it doesn't matter where you're at, um, and you develop that 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 energy, that presence, in closed doors, nobody's around, because you you will be celebrated um, in public for what, the work that you do in private. I think Tony Robbins says that a lot. Um, so when you do step out of your small town or whatever, you, then you do go to L.A., then you can be walking down the street and celebrities and people will stop you. They'll be like, what do you do? What's going on? Like, you can literally not be doing nothing. Like, you can literally have not put out a song, wrote a book, nothing. You just be like, oh, I'm just me. You know what I mean? And they will be interested in you when, you have, when you're resonating with that energy. So um, I think y'all get the point. I, I've, 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 I've dug pretty deep with this but work on your energy work on your presence become a person of value become a person of power and then you will attract other people all right see you oh i keep forgetting like subscribe
comment. Let me know what you think um, about becoming a person of value in these comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. If this is YouTube, follow me if you haven't already. I mean, Instagram, follow me if you haven't already. DM me, message me, talk to me. I'm not Hollywood, you know what I mean? I'll talk back. If you drop some stuff in the comments, I'm gonna comment back, you know what I'm saying? If you like, I'm gonna like back. Okay, all right, see you.